All right. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video today. As you can see, we have the uh, Mortal Kombat arcade stick hooked up to the uh, to the TV. Uh, we're currently in Fightcade. Um, this is more Ultimate Mortal Kombat 2 uh, Tournament Edition hack. Um, this is a uh, this is an arcade ROM. It's basically just Mortal Kombat 2, but better, maybe or worse. I don't know. I've never tried this version yet. But uh, I saw it in Fight Kate today, so I figured, what the hell? Let's uh, try it out and see what's different about it. I did a little bit of a uh, little bit of a Google search just to see if I could find anything, and uh, the truth is, I couldn't really find much. So we're gonna kind of play through it today uh, together and uh, just experience this uh, version and see exactly what's different about it. If, if there's stuff that we can notice while playing. Okay. Uh, let's see, can we turn it up a little bit? Maybe I'll turn it up just a bit. Hopefully the sound is not too overpowering and you can hear me. But, uh, uh like I said, we're going to play with the uh, arcade stick today. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit, it's kind of loud here. There we go. And, uh, let's just see what this version is about. So there you see, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 2 Tournament Edition. Version 5.0.053. Johnny Cage. Uh, I don't see anything different uh, yet, that's for sure. We'll watch a little bit more of the uh, a track mode and see if anything happens. Maybe while that's playing, we can play through on our uh, mini Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I'll leave that to the side. Got the red shadow kick, the longest winning streaks. No one. I haven't played it yet. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, there you go. Mortal Kombat 2 Revision Balance Hack. This balance hack is dedicated to everyone who grew up playing MK2 in the arcade. I truly hope you enjoy it. Let's put some quarters in. Toasty, toasty. Start this game. Pick your combatant. All right, so as you can see, the uh, character lineup is a little different here. We'll do random, and uh, looks like we're going to play through Sub-Zero. So let's let's see if we can see if there's anything different right off the hop. Notice the uh, the opponent when he punches you. The timing's a little different. Still works. Can you actually freeze him on this one? No, it looks like they duck it. Okay. All right, let's knock him into the picks. Down, forward, forward, block. Excellent. All right, nothing different yet. Well, Johnny can't start with a shadow kick, no. I'm wondering if the uh, the arcade exploits work on this one. Walk into it, no. Boom. I love countering that uh, kick with an uppercut. Get a kick, no. C. Nice. Forward, forward, down, high kick. Forward, down, forward, forward, high punch. I'm curious to know if there were any extra fatalities or stuff. Caught him at a weird angle there. Ooh, that was a different punching to the sweep. Usually doesn't work. You usually punch to the ice. 
hung out, still plays like he, uh, like he does in the arcade. That works too, I'm wondering if you can freeze him. Ground freeze. There we go. Tusty! Oh. Oh crap. Messed that up. Full low punch, back, back, down, forward, let go. Messed it up. Uh, there's something different. You got Goro stage in this one. Ooh, he doesn't, uh, so when he corners you, he doesn't push back. If you block his, uh, if you block his flurry of punches, he doesn't back off, so don't get cornered. Also, his bicycle kick stayed on me instead of backing off. There's, uh, something different. I don't know if that's a good balancing issue, uh, fix or what. But I personally didn't like that. <laughs> Push uh, punch. Push punch, or did they take it out? That's interesting. I don't usually have a problem on that thing, I believe, that's for sure. So already I noticed. Thank goodness that exploit works. Because the uh, punching you, if you're blocking it, it, uh, it doesn't make them back off as easily. Alright. A couple of uh, minor differences. I'll tell you, it's interesting. Uh, I didn't notice... Oh my goodness. I didn't notice anybody playing this version. Alright, All right, so the two things I've noticed so far, one, if you get cornered and they just keep on smacking you, they don't back off. Another thing I noticed, uh, Luke Hank's bicycle kick it stays on you, so even if you block it, it stays in one location. Um, when you uh, jump back with Sub-Zero and you punch him, you can sweep him right off the hop. I don't know if you can do that before. The uh, jump back exploit works with uh, Kung Lao, it seems. So that's cool. And uh, I don't know if friendships are included. I tried the friendship, it didn't work. No, he's not falling for it. He does fall for that exploit, which is just a uh, jump and punch. Jump straight up and punch, and then do your uh, teleport kick. There we go. <laughs> that move still works. Fatality. Fatality. I wonder if the uh, it's got the same special characters: Jade, Luke, Cybot, Smoke. We'll see. This is basically the uh, way you cheese it with uh, Kung Lao. That's it. Jump punch, down, kick. There you go. Try his, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can 
might not be able to. Let's see if we can do his uh, friendship. Back, 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 down, high kick. I haven't used punch at all, so we'll see. No, Babality, Babality and friendships don't seem to work on this. Maybe because it's tournament edition, they uh, feel like it's an insult if you do that to your opponents. I mean, I like doing it, but uh, you know, that's me. I always like doing finishing moves. Friendships and uh, Bay Valleys add a nice variety, I find, to it. I can see in a tournament setting that being maybe disrespectful. If you're able to beat somebody without, uh, without using punch, and they, and they probably shouldn't be in the uh, tournament. <laughs> no, I think actually, if you can do a friendship or a Bay Valley against somebody in a tournament, I think that's, a, that's pretty cool. I don't think it's disrespectful. I think it just shows that. Nice. I think it just shows that, you know, a lot of people are better than others, right? All right. Excellent, excellent. So far, so good. Kung Lao again. I don't really notice a heck of a lot of difference, which is a good thing. Mortal Kombat 2 is awesome as is. He doesn't seem to fall for that trick. But he does fall for the uh, jump back trick, so... And Kung Lao's kick's a little uh, different from the others, so his jump kick actually sometimes hits him when you, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Sometimes hits him when you just go in for a uh, regular jump kick. I've said this before, I love the uh, music in this level, it reminds me of, uh, Jethro Tull with that uh, flute playing. The yeah, computer can still pick you up and throw you depending on the, uh, the range. There we go. Excellent. This controller it slides all over this table. I actually had to put uh, duct tape on the bottom of it. They got smoke in the background. Perfect. Well, it looks like only fatalities are available in this version. Oh, come on. Get him one more, one more. Couldn't do the hat fatality because I was too close to him. And unfortunately, the uh, tree demons get no snacks during this gameplay. During this playthrough. Apparently, apparently, one thing that it did say is uh, different with this version is the um, the uh, when you mirror match your character, uh, the colors are different. So Katana, for instance, when you do the mirror match, apparently her alternate color is uh, Jade's color. So it's like you're playing against Jade. Like, See, I can do the hot pick on me. Throw me Nice. Nice. There we go. Cool. There we go. Totally missed. <laughs> Wasn't even close. I pushed up way too quickly. I don't know if you can see there's a bit of a glitch there. 
Kung Lao and, um, okay, I was gonna say the, uh, easy Molina trick where you just jump kick the worker is tough with Kung Lao because of his range. So the jump punch to, uh, kick like that is easiest. I don't believe she falls for my, uh, my jump back trick. That trick is easy enough. Four, four, four. I punch. Beautiful. Fatality. Fatality. Looks good. I would like to fight Jade. Fight. However, I know uh, using low kick only with Kung Lao is going to be a tough one. So we'll, we'll try. We will try, but I don't guarantee anything. And I do notice. I do notice the audio is already kicking out. That's a problem with the, um, the Mortal Kombat 2 and Fight Game, even the original. The sound starts creeping out. It almost sounds demonic. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how you fix the uh, crackling sound when it happens. Another tough character to do this with. Let's see what we can do. Right. Oh, Alright, so Liu Kang's strategy. Strategy is a lot of. Uh, a lot of bicycle kicking there. You go to sweep them twice and they're really close, they grab you, throw you. Duck, a lot of bicycle kicking. They'll always block that 90% of the time anyways. Working me there. Always does a finishing move. Fusty! Alright. The uh, Liu Kang strategy is a little tough. I always have a tough time with uh, Liu Kang. Alright, this should be pretty easy. I should be able to do this. His shadow kick is always red on this one. Not falling for it. Maybe the uh, the later later on in the uh, game you are, or the further you are in the game, maybe the jump back trick doesn't work. You always get the uh, red flash kick, which is kind of cool. Alright, so that does work. Boom! 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 Four. You know, I've got four heads. Four heads instead of three. Maybe if I keep holding down, I can knock more. Alright, so. I'm gonna let Reptile win the first round here. Because you can actually beat it with just low kick. Oh, you know what? I didn't even have to let him do that. He was He's moving faster. He walks a little faster, I think. Yeah, I didn't have to let him do that. Toasty! Now, I 
and finish him in this round. As long as I can beat him. Just a little kick. Easy enough, easy enough. I don't want to speak too soon. Alright. Only use the little kick. As far as I know, it'll be Jade. Should be. So it's definitely very, very close to the original arcade MK2. You knock off four heads with Johnny. Jade. Her, um, her name is still not in life bar. That's just like the arcade. And the sound seemed to, uh, the sound seemed to, uh, correct itself. Good. Outstanding. Oh. Uppercut. Throw me. You gotta let her throw you, otherwise. Shoot. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, darn it. That was close. I was gonna say in the corner, you had to let him throw, otherwise, uh, she would have just sat there punching you. Alright. Jax, come on. Uh, Shank Fun morphs uh, quickly. It's quicker than the. Um, it's quicker than the original. Maybe I should like when he uh, when he morphs back. Um, it's a lot faster than the original. Watch. There, so that's that's a bonus there. So if you're using Shang Fun, so if you're using a Shang Fun in a two-player mode or single-player mode, you don't have to worry about getting hit when you morph back because he morphs back instantly. So that's kind of a cool feature for a Shang. Let's see if Kintaro still falls for the uh, tricks. Still falls for them. Excellent. Baraka rounds to fight. So there's other tricks people use against Kintaro. This is the one I find works the best for me. Um, I've seen another trick where they uh, corner, where they corner him, and then just keep punching. I think it's high punch or low punch, and it just slowly takes power away from him. But I find this uh, method, that method seems to be almost foolproof. And you got this method here where you just dwindle him down. You got, you got this one where he always walks into your uh, into your blade fury. I'll tell you one thing too about this controller. It uses the uh, hap sticks and buttons. It feels so uh, so arcade perfect when you play with it. You are nothing. Maybe he doesn't fall for that trick. I don't know. Is that your feel the wrath? Is that your feel the wrath? Oh. Oh. You are not you. We have 
lots of time to escape that one. There you have it. Mortal Kombat 2 Unlimited Tournament Edition ROM hack on Fightcade. Very cool. I noticed uh, somebody else was playing it. I don't know if it was this version. It was a different version. But at the end, when it introduced the characters, uh, they were all babies. I don't know what the, I don't know what that means or what that is. So I haven't, uh, I don't know, I haven't really seen much different in this version. Um, that being said, I would rather just play uh, the original arcade version or even uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Plus, which has the inclusion of uh, the secret characters as playable. There's a few uh, other features, has improved AI, which I don't know if it's improved, to be honest, because it's a lot harder than the original. <laughs> but. Uh, that's MK2 Plus. I, I really like that version. This version's great. It's it's the arcade. I haven't played it enough, obviously, to see the differences, but, uh, you know, it seems pretty cool. I like how Shang Tsung morphed back quickly. I'm curious as to how many heads Johnny Cage can knock off. Maybe he can knock off a ton. I would like to see the, uh, the palette swaps on uh, two players. But, uh, anyways, that's for another time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, enjoy the rest of your nights. Thank you very much.